Rammy, which are unfortunately not pictured here on this picture. Let's draw some Rammy for ourselves. Here's some Rammy. Rammy that leave the spinal column um, and travel out into the body, they eventually become a peripheral nerve. That's what we would call it if we were to sever your arm and find the ulnar nerve, we would call it a peripheral nerve. Your sciatic nerve is a peripheral nerve. A nerve is a bundle of axons. Look at this spinal nerve right here, right? This would be the spinal nerve. That's a bundle of axons. That's what a nerve is. It's a, a, a large amount of neurons that are bundled together. In a nerve, especially in a spinal nerve, you can have axons that are bringing information out of the spinal column, and those axons are called motor neurons. Oh my gosh, motor neurons connect to the neuromuscular junction. You can also have axons that are bringing information into the spinal column, and those are sensory axons, but they're both part of nerves, and a spinal nerve has both of those. So spinal nerves, which again, is just that little piece right there. Spinal nerves are what are called mixed nerves. Some of the axons are bringing information in and some of the axons are bringing information out. These pictures over here are histological stains. Let's look um, a little bit more specifically about like the wrappings of a, neuro, a, a nerve. A nerve which, oh, ooh, look at this picture up here. That's good, good inset, right? They're severing it right at the spinal nerve. A nerve is like this here. It's a bundle of neurons. Look at this picture. It's got some things that we've seen before in a muscle picture, right? So this here is the nerve itself. Like we had the muscle itself. Oh, guess what this is called? This is called a facicillate. And then this here is the individual neuron. In fact, more specifically, it's its axon. Um, take a look, there's some blood vessels, right? We know that the axons in your peripheral nerves would have Schwann cells myelinating them. The covering surrounding the entire nerve is called the epineurium. The covering around a facicillate is called the perineurium. And I'm sure you guessed it, the covering around one neuron is the endoneurium. So these wrappings that come in threes, this isn't new to us. We've seen this convention of naming before. This is a picture, a electron microscope picture of a peripheral nerve. So each, all of the yellow in here is myelin. All of the blue in here is the axon of the neuron itself. You can see there's some big neurons and there's some little neurons. Um, they have highlighted for you one perineurium, and you can see that the perineurium is surrounding two little blue neurons. So it only takes two neurons to make a facility. This is interesting to understand. This is about a dermatome. Let's go and let's, let's use our knowledge of spinal cord anatomy. Let's draw our spinal cord like a butt. Let's indicate dorsal and ventral so we don't get confused. Let's draw what we know. We know that there's a spinal nerve that separates and leads to the spinal cord. We also, we also know that there are neurons bringing sensory information into the spinal cord traveling here in the dorsal, what should that be, root or ramus? Yes, the dorsal root. Now, one of those neurons comes from the dermis of your skin. In each level of your spinal cord, there is one neuron on either side that is coming from your skin. It is called the cutaneous branch of that spinal nerve. And what it does is it innervates the dermis of a specific area of skin, and it brings sensory information into the central nervous system. 
this picture is somewhat misleading. I'm not saying that the areas of skin that are innervated by a specific nerve are different on each side of your body. What I'm saying is that the left side of this picture here shows what are called dermatomes on the anterior face of your body. And the right side of the picture shows dermatomes on the posterior face of your body. So the sensory neuron that innervates the dermis can be called the cutaneous branch, and it develops this area called the dermatome. Now, they're bilateral each side. Now, if you go to a good physical therapist, they'll say, do you have any burning pain? And when I went to a physical therapist after my car accident, I said, yes, I have burning pain that comes down the front of my thigh over my knee and into my calf. So it was like this area here. And then he said, any on the side or back? I said, yeah, none on the back really, but it's more on the side of my leg. And this is how we first determined that I had crushed the L4, L5 level. If you have tingling, numbness in your hands, just your thumbs, that means that you have crushed the C6 level. Again, a dermatome, the area that's innervated, the area of skin that's innervated can tell you what area of the spinal column is affected. 